Why does the background look like Gygus? Well, don't spoil the ending. To Bellatro, not Earthbound. Who here has never seen this game? With a raise of virtual hands, who has never seen or played Bellatro? Because this game is kind of genius. I love it to death. I can't stop playing this damn game. So, Bellatro is a roguelike that uses a regular deck of playing cards. The gimmick is being able to defeat blinds and just get a high score for the current blind. But what really sets this game apart are the Jokers. The Jokers are what add to your score. So, for example, let's go ahead and do just a regular vanilla run, base difficulty, and it's easier to show you than to try and explain it verbally. So once you start up the game, you have an option. You can either play the blind, or you can skip it to get a special effect. Now what you're trying to do is to beat the boss blind all the way there on the right of the table. Beating the boss blind raises the ante. So then, your next small blind, big blind, and boss blind are going to be even stronger. And the point is to make it through eight antes, ending with a final boss battle at 100,000 chips. And that's where the game really ramps up. So let's go ahead and start. Now, once you start the game, it actually does give you a nice little tutorial. And it lets you know what hands are the best. What give you the best chip, uh, the best chips, and what gets you a good multiplier. The better the hand, the better the outcome. And this does play by regular poker rules, regular poker hands. High card is the worst. Royal flush is the best. But Bellatro has a few extra hands that are even better than Royal. So let's see what we can get with a regular hand of cards. In your red deck, you start with four hands, four discards, and four dollars. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go for a full house, a straight, a flush, whatever I can get. Uh, there's not much going on here. Yeah, still not much going on here. Now, I've already given up on the straight, and I'm trying to go for a full house. And I got it. So, with a pair and a three of a kind, you get a full house. This should be just enough to win the blind. It'll count up the value of all the cards, add to your chip count, and as soon as you beat the blind, the round's over. You get money from the table, as well as each remaining hand. And here's where the fun begins. In between each blind, you get a chance to go to the shop. You can buy tarot cards, you can buy vouchers, Vouchers make it easier in the long run. You can buy packs, they give you extra playing cards. Celestial packs that give you planet cards. That gives you the ability to up the amounts you get from playing a certain hand. And the Jokers. There are 150 of these little suckers, and each one of them has an interesting ability. The point of the game is to find synergies between all the Jokers, playing really good hands, and getting extremely lucky to beat the final boss blind, and eventually go into endless mode to see how high of a score you can get. I believe the current record in Bellatro, and chances are it's already been beaten by the time this VOD comes out, and for me speaking to you guys right now live, is over five quintillion chips in one hand. Not million, not billion, quintillion. The counter doesn't even naturally go that high. Ridiculous. 
And so we're just going to have a little fun, see what happens. That's what I'm looking for. So once you buy a Celestial Pack, you can upgrade the different hands, and you get more chips and more Multiplier. So I'm going to go for Full House, because I'm feeling pretty good about those with this deck. It's a regular deck of 52 playing cards. And let's have some fun. Hey, there's a full house. So what you can do with the tarot cards is you can upgrade specific cards. For example, I'm going to turn this ace into a lucky ace. It has a 1 in 5 chance to give me a plus 20 multiplier, and I think a 1 in... Yeah, 1 in 15 to give me just 20 bucks for free. And... I think we did it. Yep, we, we already did it. As soon as you see the flames on your score, that means your final result has gone over what it takes to beat the, the current blind. Alright. So... A little bit of strategy that comes in is trying to find the right jokers to make a really good synergized deck. Let's see what we get in a buffoon pack. Uh, I'm going to take Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones prevents death if you got close enough to beating the blind. I'm also going to buy uh, the Jumbo uh, Arcana Pack. See if I can find a good Tarot card. Not much. Not much. What I think I'm going to do, at least for now, is thin the deck. I pressed the wrong gosh dang button. I accidentally skipped it instead of actually using it. So the boss blinds, they have a special ability as well. Sometimes they can just stop your combo, because they can. With this one, all spades are debuffed, which means they are not counted in your final counting. Come on, give me a queen. Damn it. All right, well, go for broke. That's a shame. Oh, that's even more of a shame. So, normally if, if I was playing on my own, I would already consider this a wash because I don't have any discards left and I don't have much to play in the case of hands. I'm gonna try to burn a few more cards, see if I can get something. Yeah, see, it's almost not worth it to do another two pair. If I get close enough, Mr. Bones will protect me. I need 450 if I'm going to survive to the next blind. And I don't think I'm going to get it. Yeah, definitely not going to get it. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, I must have read Mr. Bones wrong. I think that was 25% of the boss blind, but you don't get any money. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say new run. All right, let's see what we got here. Next base edition Joker becomes a holographic. We can also double our money. So I'm actually going to play Daring, and I'm going to skip both of these blinds. 
And this gives us little tokens on the side. The first one doubled our money. The next one will give us a holographic Joker. So I'm going to take a bet on that and hope the Joker is actually worth a damn and hope that I actually, you know, finish this blind. I'm just going to play this to get rid of it. Okay. Not full points, but still a decent amount of points for a straight. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, definitely not full points, and it's one of the lowest full houses you can get, but it's still something. 200? Alright, now I just need to finish it up and we win. Should have just waited one more hand, good lord. Ta da! That's fun. Ah, uh, the seltzer will run out. But I want it because it's holographic. I've got five dollars left. I think I'm gonna save it to buy hone. That'll be good. Give us five dollars per skipped blind. Yes. And this gives yeah, I don't I don't need any more money. Go ahead and play this blind so that I have enough money to buy the ticket. Oh, cool. I think we did it. The Seltzer's a really good card. Especially in the early game. The fact that it just replays every card that you play for the next ten hands, and it also has a, mu a holographic multiplier on it right now. It's looking pretty good. As soon as that runs out, that'll be disappointing, but for now, this'll get us past some of the harder blinds. So, I, sorry, some of the earlier blinds. Ooh. Yoink. So this is a new card I hadn't bought yet. The Onyx Agate? Agate? Uh, played cards with a club suit. Give a plus eight. That is ridiculous in this early game. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead with Flush just in case. I always want to use one of these cards just in case I get backed into a Kerner. Alright. Oh, this boss blind sucks. Discard two cards at the uh, per hand played. Uh, yeah. Nothing. There we go. That'll be enough. At least it should be. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough. Yep. Nice. Sweet. If you can't tell, this is why I am addicted to this video game. Because number go up, make brain happy.
Hi Sims. We're playing a different card game right now. Uh, we'll go Spectral. Spectral packs are dangerous. Except when you get a cryptid. Two copies of an ace. Nothing wrong with roguelike games. I can't remember how many hours it's sunk into Binding, Binding of Isaac. I've been playing Binding of Isaac since it came out on Xbox One, I think 2015, and I still haven't 100% of the game. I'm close, but yeah, I've probably played Binding of Isaac 1,000, 1,500 hours maybe, because I love that game so much. Never the same game twice. And Bellatro is starting to feel the same way. I have a feeling they're going to update it and bring a lot more jokers that'll just change the paradigm completely. And I am all for that. Speaking of all for that, I th think we got this. Two repeating clubs with a full house. Let's see. Yep, got it. Easy as that. Introduced you to the game while it was on PC. Did you play the original or did you play Rebirth? Because I started with Rebirth. That one just is much better than the original. Nothing against the original, it's still fun to play. Oh man, the Flash, Isaac. Oh man. So when will this game get a crossover with Persona 5? Uh, give it a month. Adds a negative to one random joker. Plus one hand size. Or minus one hand size. Uh, go for purple seal. Oh, I hate the arm. Uh... Alright, let's see what we can do with this. That's almost a flush. Got it. Alright, we win. The arm decreases the level of a played poker hand, and if you have to play the same poker hand continuously in order to win the higher blinds, it sucks, man. Last night I was playing a game where flushes were my hand of choice, and I, I was losing an entire level every single time, and I was in the higher rankings, which means we're talking like millions of points and I was losing the ability to reach that every single time I played a hand. It was rough. Six more hands, okay. I'm gonna save my money for now. Uh, okay. Two clubs. Still have all my discards. See what we got. This should be enough. Definitely. Got it. Yep. That Joker's extremely good. The banner? Plus 40 chips for each remaining discard? That is nuts. The main thing I've noticed about this game is it's all about not just the multipliers, but also getting your chips up there. So this guy right here, that's, what, times four? It's 160 chips for free if you don't use a, a discard. It's nuts. <laughs> oh, 
Well, this is not the best. Uh, three of a kind. Just for fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of money. We're going to need that for the next one. Lose one dollar per card played. Probably one of my favorite parts about Bellatro in general is you'll eventually reach blinds where you have to win in one hand or it's just going to be a bad time. I don't think I got this in one hand, but let's see. Nice. I'm wondering how many Bellatro people are going to sh find my stream and question why I don't have the speed up. It's because I don't want to, dude. I like the gradual get faster. Makes the brain tingle. Well, that's fun. Plus 20 multiplier for free. Minus 4 multiplier per round. This one will eventually disappear as well. Ooh, that's a good one. How dare I not play the way you prefer? How dare I indeed... Oh, holy shit. Alright. Alright. Full house. Probably won't be that good because there's only one club in there. I should be okay, though. Ooh, that's a first. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. I need 5,000 points. That should do it. I hate that I discarded. That's probably what made it not a one hand go, but I had to. There we go. So I got a special token that made everything in the shop zero dollars. Let's see what I get from these. Woo! Take that. Spectral, another cryptid. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, cryptid. And these ones are kind of sucky, so I don't want them. One of them didn't even go away. Go ahead and increase the power of the flush. That's not bad. That'll give clubs extra domination. Tell you what, I'll get rid of that for that. Now I can go for double the clubs. Minus one hand size? Bring it on. Ooh. Not a good start.
Got it. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Alright, check it. So now I have... Every single club will give me plus 12. And they also get duplicated. Number go up! Twenty-eight thousand. Ah, uh, my... Uh, I'm gonna lose one of mine. This blows. I need a good joker, and now... Not what I'm looking for. I will buy this, though. Get a free hand. else do we have? I keep pressing the wrong goddamn button. Now let's see what we can get out of this freebie pack here. Oh, wow. That's precisely what I need. Okay. I'm gonna skip this, and we reached the wall. The wall is an extra large boss blind. We need 80,000. I honestly think we can get it if I can get a club flush. <laughs> Not a good start. Just to clear a hand. Let's see. The one Joker I picked up gives me two chips for every card in my deck currently. And there goes the Seltzer. Okay. Damn, that was another full house. That's not good. Come on, give me a flush. Thank the Lord. All right. Number go up, go. We lost. <laughs> I can already tell we're not going to make it through this one. Because I have three hands left with 22 grand. If the seltzer was still here, that would have won it for us. Let's do one more just to see how, how big we can get. Polychrome? Sure. Oh, we got a straight. Nice. There are also different rarity of cards. Where you can find a foil that gives you extra chips whenever your Joker is played. You can also uh, get Polychrome, which is a 1.5 multiplier. Really hoping we can find a, a good multiplier run. Just so you can see how gigantic these final hands can be. Oh, there we go.
So this is something that can happen in the early game if you skip blinds, hoping that you can get enough money to buy early polychromes, is their price value will just go up too high and you don't have enough money. Doubt I'll keep this one, but you never know. Wow, what a setup. Jesus. Oh, we did it. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Happy about that one. Ooh. 10-4. Good, buddy. So whenever you play a 10 or a 4, you get 10 chips and plus 4 multiplier. Kind of clever. Uh, yeah, we'll just continue. Oh, wow. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Fine, you win. I concede. I was trying to go for a flush, but another diamond wouldn't show up, and I've got plenty of diamonds. Go to hell, game. <laughs> There's what I was looking for. Sheesh. There we go. Nice. Whoa, what is this? Oh, hell yes, I need this. When round begins, add a random playing card with a random seal to your hand. That seems overpowered. Uh, yeah, let's take that for a spin and see what else we can get. Oh, there we go. We trigger all played cards in the final hand of round. All right. That sounds fun. After defeating the boss blind, gain $15. Yeah, we'll do that because we get to one of the worst boss blinds, in my opinion. One hand. We are only allowed to play one hand this round. I think I'm going to try for a 10-4. When does Exodia show up? Uh, here in a second. You know, Bellatro, 
I know you're not listening or watching, but trust me on this. If you add a Joker set, where if you have all five of these cards in your hand, you automatically win, you're going to get a lot of props from your Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Just tossing that out there. Free idea. From chat. All right. Ah, uh, shoot. Retrigger all played cards in the final hand. All right, let me think. Times four. I need at least. Yeah, I think this will work. Here, watch. It's totally gonna work, guys. Watch. See? Got it. I was not confident. Just throwing that out there. I was definitely not confident in that, but we got it. It's fine. Rolling in money. Oh, damn it. It didn't work. Oh, wait. Yes, it did. So, two of my favorite Arcana cards are Strength, which raise the rank of whatever cards you choose, and Death. Death makes it to where if you pick two cards the one on the left becomes a copy of the one on the right this is the best way to farm aces now aces are some of the best obviously the best cards in the deck I have made a pretty damn good ace deck just tossing that out there I'll actually show you a couple clips after we lose here. If we lose here. But uh, it can get pretty insane with the different multipliers and everything. That's obviously not enough, but still fun. Wow, uh, piddly score. Alright. Tens and fours. Damn it. Tens and fours. Fuck. Tens and fours. That'll work. Four of a kind. This will be a nice chunk of points. Toss in an eight as well, just to get it out of my hand. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, and there's the other fours. Alright, we win. Yay! There's a Joker that you can unlock by having $400 at one time. I have tried my damnedest to get that one. And I've gotten up to like 280 monies. It's actually really hard to do. If I can find the brilliant synergy to last far into the endless ranks, I think I could get it. But I just haven't been able to make it. I haven't been able to find the perfect synergy. That was, like, the best card you could have given me, mate. Holy crap. A cool thing about this game is there are 
hidden hands that you can play that are worth just boku to points. And those are the ones that when you find them your first time, you're like, oh, what the hell is this? And then you realize the game is like slowly nodding its head going, yes, yes. It's like that Jack Nicholson image where he's just going, yes, yes. And you realize you've unleashed ultimate power. It is a flush five, which is a five of a kind of the same suit and a flush house, which is a full house of the same suit. Unlimited power! And the best part is you can upgrade those hidden hands. So you can have a flush five at like a times seven, or a level seven multiplier. In fact, I did that when I played last night. And I took a clip of it because I was so friggin' blown away. Nothing going on here. God. All right, next round. Anyone else find it funny that both of the Mario RPG games you and UDJ did got remakes? Those were technically his projects. I had no say in it, except for, you know, joining him for the entire production. So, two for two, his track record's looking pretty good. Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. It is fascinating to me what games get a remake and which ones don't. Because there's a few games that I've LP'd that have gotten remakes. Like Resident Evil 2, 3, 4. I'm okay with it. If it makes people happy, I am A-okay with it. Also makes for a good revisiting of the original while seeing what the remake changed or kept entirely the same, which is what's kind of what it's looking like for uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, except for a few select changes. Some very well-needed changes. Shit, we lost. Well, never say never. I think we lost. Yeah, especially because this boss sucks. Oh, that fucking blows. No! <laughs> Shut up! Alright, let me show you some of my best of Bellatro. Uh, which one do I want to show you? I'll show you this one. Look, it's a level 9 flush house. I need 600 million points. Let's see if I can get it. Let's watch that multiplier. Jesus! And that wasn't even close. That 
damn arm boss blind again. I just need four million. That's all. Nailed it. So yeah, these are the types of numbers where they just go into the stratosphere. I think this one... Oh, right. I technically lost, but I spit in the game's face and said, check this shit out. A flush with no buffed cards was still able to win. Screw you, video game. Level f 11, five of a kind. Yeah, this was a different one. I was trying to beat this 300 million, and there was no fucking way I was going to beat 300 million points. Especially since I'm on my last hand, I'm at 81. So, score go up. Not enough. I think, uh... I think I remember what this clip is. So one of the spectral cards changes every card in your current hand to a single rank. So I thought, you know what? Eh, fuck it. Minus one hand size? All right, let's see what I get. Come on, aces. Oh, baby. That was a good run. What was this? Oh. Oh. Right. Another one where I died at 300 million. I was trying my damnedest. I have a joker that every time you use a tarot card, it gets more on its multiplier. So I was trying my best just to buff that sucker up right before I tried to do any hand. And I just kept getting tarot cards. Uh, is it this one? Oh, that was just a, uh, screenshot. What was this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that lovely feeling. What the fuck happened here? What is this? Oh, is this another all aces? Do it, man. You know you want to. The all aces happened multiple times. I don't believe it. All right. Uh, let me... Oh, here we go. One of my crowning achievements was finding the best synergy in the whole goddamn world. So basically what is happening with this is the mask all the way to the left. I'm going to try and explain what is actually happening here with all these jokers. So let me start with the lower ones, the pants. Every time you play a hand that has a pair in it, it gets a multiplier added to it, a permanent multiplier. The Mask and the Vampire have synergy. Because what the Vampire does is if you have a specialty card, like a steel card, or if you have uh, a gold card, it saps away that power and adds to its own times multiplier. Now, times multipliers are the bread and butter of endless mode. That's how you get to those huge-ass numbers. What the mask does is every face card that you play gets a gold plating. And this game is based on order of operations from left to right. So what happens is you basically create an infinite money machine for your vampire card where you play face cards, they turn gold and immediately get their power sapped and turned into more power for the vampire. Now that card in the middle, DNA, 
whatever if you play one card as your first hand it gets duplicated into your hand which is why you see 96 cards in my deck 85 percent of those are aces and then the blueprint joker duplicates the effect of the joker to its right so essentially what i was doing every single round is the start of the round i would put the blueprint next to the dna to its left play an ace get two free aces move the blueprint back over to the vampire and then this happened ungodly high scores every single time yeah this is where it lost again 300 million one day i will best it i did get to a point where playing a four of a kind was actually more beneficial than playing five of a kind i don't even remember what the multiplier got up to on vampire 15.8 Definitely still wasn't enough. And that's been my current obsession for the past two months. How much do I have to donate for you to say my name? Oh, uh, hmm. Y you know what? You know what? That's going to be an Abe Lincoln. Ike, that's going to be an ably... Son of a bitch! What's your first Joker? <laughs> going to be Splash. If that's one of the first Jokers to show up... I think you can read minds. Bellatro is such a chill game till you get to the later stages and all of a sudden they start putting letters in, in the numbers. That's what we're shooting for. The goal of the stream is to find... A combination so good that I finally hit 100 million. I almost got all the jokers. Uh, let's see what I'm missing here. Uh, I've got one that's in the shop that I still need to purchase. Uh, let's see. I need to discard five jacks at the same time. I need to play a hand that contains four seven of clubs. Uh, there's the one, 100 million chips. I got so close during one of my playthroughs and it just didn't happen. Um, 400 or more, I think I'll do that another time. And then these ones are completely random because this game hates me. So I almost have 100% of everything. And then I can start beating the harder, uh, the harder, uh, stakes. Which, uh, black stake can go to hell. I haven't been able to beat this one at all. I haven't even gotten close. I think the highest I've ever gotten is to uh, anti six. And then I just get obliterated because of combination of RNG and it not giving me a damn thing to work with. So just for fun and because I want to, you know, get a hundred million chips, we're just going to go with the white stake and go for broke. Did you get the Fortnite Joker? I'll trade it for a multi-versus... No. Ew, how dare you? Don't you say those nasty words in my house? You coming in here and saying uh, multiverses and all that? By the way, is uh, is Jason Voorhees still broken? That's going to date this stream, but I find it funny. I saw a clip, and it was Jason Voorhees... Picking up a boss and crashing the game. Which, to me, is just hysterical. That is the third king in a row. I am not a happy Niskel right now. There we go! Jeez, just give me what I want, please. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna buy the battle pass and play as him. Oh, he's part of the battle pass? Ew. You know, last night I was trying to play through the black stake, and I had a pretty good setup going where 
uh, every card I played was a face card. And then every face card gets played again. So it was really good for my score. And then the boss blind came up and I knew it was totally over. Because all of the sudden, all face cards are negated. And that's what I built my combo on. Game sucks, it hates me. Alright, let's see what we can get. For each three, rank changes every round. Need of clubs. Uh, go for money. Four of a kind, create a planet card if I hand. Means two or more eights. I think I'll wait. Yep. Entire deck just gone in an instant. Uh, we'll play hardball this round. I want to be able to actually win. And I'm going to start by getting some Arcana. See if I can get another free Joker. Nope. But I can get free tarot cards. Ooh. Oh, hello, beautiful. I think that's part of my end game. Diamonds. Huh? And now for a little bit of fun, we just made a steel card. I'm gonna go ahead and dupe that. Nice. All right, all spades are negated. Let's see what we get. Not a bad opener. For every three discarded. Okay. Let's see if we can get a bunch of face cards in here. Oh, that'll work. Uh, yeah, I can work with this. Sweet. I, I truly hate when this game gives me nothing to work with. I know it's a deck of 52, now 53, but come on, man. You gotta work with me somehow. Oh, please go to hell. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ahoy! Ah, this is gonna suck. I'm probably gonna lose already. This is the will of Bellatro. Thanks for the sub, Scales. Appreciate you. Uh, you know what? I know this is probably gonna suck, but it's points. I love Bellatro. Holy shit, that was actually better than my two pairs I was throwing down. There we go. Okay. We managed to pull it out. At least I hope. Yeah, we had to get over 100 and we're good. ta -da. That was a rough boss blind. I freaking hated that. At least we got some money. Ooh. Hmm. Get rid of this. Go for a buffoon pack. See what we get. Oh, -ho! yummy. There we go. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and play this. I love the egg. Egg. $3 of sell value at the end of the round. So it's going to be gaining money every time. There's another joker in here that works well with the egg and where the sell value of all your jokers gets added as a multiplier. We're sitting pretty right now. Okay, not what I was looking for. Uh, oh! Oh! Hey, there we go. <laughs> Full house. Yeah, exactly. Getting egg early is fantastic. We might have beaten this already. Yep, beat it. I actually haven't played Hades 2. I wasn't a big fan of the first one, but I am very happy that 
Hades players got an extremely good sequel on their hands. And that's just an early access. That is almost worth it. I don't want to do that just yet. So instead... Grab a playing card. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, next one becomes holographic. Oh, uh, we'll do that. Get a holographic early. And we're fighting the psychic. Over a hundred hours? Good lord. Good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, we'll go for a flush. We'll go for a flush. There we go. That might be enough. Actually, no, it's not, because I didn't have any of the steels in my hand. flush. Sweet, sweet. Bam. Oop, wrong button. Hey, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. B B O oh, fiddle fiddlesticks. Oh yes. Thought about turning on fast mode. I keep fast mode off just to piss people off. And also because I like the eventual build up. When I see the card start out slow and then get lightning fast, my brain is happy. Ah! Shit! Why was that one the hollow? Damn it. I want to go for an Aces High build. Because Aces are so good. Mm. Shit. Alright, eh, we'll go for it. I love Scholar. Pair that with Fibonacci and then it's... Oh. Mwah! So good. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Straight. Sure. Alright, I guess we're hunting for aces. I'm hunting aces. Uh per hand played nine dollars, not worth it. Alright. How much damage can we do here? That's some damage. Holy crap. Doesn't seem like much, but it'll add up. Bing, bing, bing. Woo! That was just our first hand. Ooh, yeah. Give me another ace. Give me another ace. Another ace! Hmm. I can work with this. Pair of aces! Ben, 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 Ben. Jesus, that was. That was better than. <laughs> that was better than our last hand! This is why I love Scholar. Chips and Multiplier? Good lord. Fibonacci! Ooh. Well. There's the one that turns every card into a face card. Buffoon! Uh, for the time being. Most likely get rid of it later. Okay. Let's see what we get for a spectral pack. Familiar. Three enhanced faces, enhanced numbers. Ooh. 
Ooh, another queen. Oh, baby. I need to get the queen card. It. What the hell is this opening hit? <laughs> Garbage, get it out of here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you know? Uh, that won't be the best. I'll go ahead and play it, get a two pair out there. Because Scholar will definitely help, and then I've got... Oh, that's only one steel in my hand. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Okay, not bad, not bad. For a two pair, yeah. Oh. My. God. Damn. Oh, that could have been... That could have been so good. Okay, it still is kind of good. Oh, this boss is fucking me. Holy shit! Uh, okay. Is that how we are going to play video game? Pair of fives. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Nothing. All right, might have to play Ace in the Hole. Let's see, sixty. <clears throat> Plus 12. Plus 12. That'll be 19. Plus 11 on each. 44. And I have to break out the old calculator to see if I'll actually win this. Because I am a nerd like that. So 60 plus 44. It's 104 times 19. Ooh, that is definitely not enough. Okay. Gonna save that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to save my queen. I'll go ahead and sack the king for high card. And then see what we get with our last cards. <laughs> Wanna know a fact that'll ruin your life? Depends on how much is ruining. If you're about to tell me that I've been playing this game wrong for over 200 hours, I'm gonna hurt you. Metaphorically, not physically. Okay. That is a wash. You will hate Windows Calculator. I already do. Mwah. Again, again. Played too close to the sun. Not bad, go. It doesn't help that I play Bellatro as like, like, I go for the kill a majority of the time, so to speak. So I normally just ditch a bunch of my cards and be like, well, why didn't I win? Well, because idiot, you didn't play it right. Space between the eight and nine is offset by one pixel in a standard Windows calculator. Why are you telling me this knowledge? I see you're not the only one cursed with knowledge. Aw, Craig, thank you! Thanks for the sub! Appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you've been well. Hope you're living your best life and have a good weekend. Oh! Already. I'll take that. 
Pe, pe. Yeah, this is actually an insanely good setup for the start of the game. Oh, I thought that was... Ooh, that could have been so good. All right, Arcana. You started Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, not yet. Not yet. I want to make sure I've got all my affairs in order, and then Baldur's Gate 3 will have me by the nuts. For a long time. <laughs> there was probably a better way to say that, but... I'm committed now. It's going okay? Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that, that almost sounds terrifying. I peered into the abyss and was punished for my hubris. As punishment for my sin, I have shared the cursed knowledge that I have gained. That's very poetic, man. God, I don't like. I don't have anything here. What do I know about it so far? Uh, only from what I've seen from UDJ streams of it. I don't know anything else. I don't even know the plot. So I'm technically going in blind. I know that everybody's fucking thirsty, so there's at least that. You've played it three times and barely know the plot? Oh, that's a good sign. Uh, all of this is kind of garbo. Except for that, that's pretty good. Go ahead and open a Celestium. I specialize in cursed knowledge. The cursed knowledge ace could be considered... Uh, no, stop! Don't do that! Straight flush by three levels. Nah. I barely ever get those. Uh, this kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. There we go. For, ah, uh, damn it. Well, sorry. No, it's fine. Hoping that Baldur's Gate 3 eventually gets ported over to Xbox with crossplay so I can play with my D&D &D group. That'd be nice. So, uh, something interesting happened. Speaking of Baldur's Gate 3, uh, I received an email uh, from from Laren, the guys who made it. I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation, but uh, they sent me an email saying, Hey, so all y'all that got the physical edition of Baldur's Gate 3 on Xbox, good for you. Uh, just letting you know, the code we put into the box may or may not have been the full game on a digital code. It was not actually the digital goodies we promised you, but in fact, the game, again. So, those of you who got it, go ahead and keep it. We'll send out the actual codes here shortly. Now, I didn't think anything of it because I immediately put in that code and I already had the game downloaded. I assume that I got what I was promised. But there's also the possibility <laughs> that I got the game twice. But I don't need another copy. And I've already redeemed the code, so it's nothing on me. And I did get my code for the actual DLC, so we're good. Yeah, that normally would not happen. I mean, at that point, how do you even take back a digital code? So I think they were between a rock and a hard place with that decision, but honestly, there was nothing else they could have done. So, agreed. Props to them. Arcana. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh my! Oh, this is a kick-ass setup. All right, check it. Uh, diamonds. Ooh, Get a ten up here. Make that a wild card. Wild like the lovers. I can only choose one, so I'm gonna choose the Emperor. Get two more cards. Nice! I've only got the Xbox One, not Series S. Yeah, unfortunately, you do have to have the Series X. You gotta have a powerful machine because this game looks phenomenal. Okay, I'm about to be an old man. Not a, well, not exactly. I'm gonna be about to be a stingy gamer. How about that? Not an old man, just a stingy gamer. How about that? I saw the trailer for Lollipop Chainsaw Repopped. Or Repop. It's the remake of Lollipop Chainsaw, or at least the remastered. Uh, it looks like garbage. <laughs> like, graphically, it looks like garbage. It does not look good. It does not look well. So I don't know what they did for all that time, but it certainly wasn't making the game look any better. It looks like a 360 game, which is what it was originally. But now it's coming to Switch and it, literally everything, so yeah. So you have that to look forward to. That was a hell of a hand. We're doing great. Good start. We're getting money, we're getting cards, we're getting cheap re-rolls, thank god. All suited 51 games look like garbage. That tracks. And that's funny because, in, in my eyes, not all of his games are bangers. It's like a 50-50. You buy a suited 51 game and you're like, oh, is this going to be good? And then it's like, no, it's shit. And then it's like, well, not surprised. Honestly. This is a, that was a jumbo. Okay. I'm going to save my money. Ooh, there we go. Celestial pack. That'll work. Looks like we're playing full houses today. Thanks for adding to the midlife crisis. I was in college when Lollipop Chainsaw came out. <laughs> I think I was too. <laughs> it just made myself feel decrepit. Alright, what do we got? A whole lot of garbage. What is this? Sure, this is this is not a good Joker setup, in my opinion. Like this kind of this is kind of balls. Uh, Retrigger the first played card. Oh, that's barely anything. Uh, give me hearts. Hey, bitch, and you shall receive. Go. Oh, it's plus one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we might have aced this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I take it back. Setups. Okay for now. God damn. Give me what I want. <laughs> buy that for later. Uh, I still need to get the other card in this set. Go for that. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a playing card. Hey, not bad. All right, get out of here. Play judgment. Okay, that's the pair Joker. It's not the worst. I don't 
really like that, so we're gonna play Judgment again. There we go. Keep that around for a little bit. We's playing with kings. Holy shit, the tower. Yep, we're all in on full houses, apparently. And the tower, I can make use of that. There we go, a negative. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! And free cards. Cool. This boss is gonna suck, by the way. Base chips and malts are halved. What the hell? Man, th this is going to get tanked. Yeah. I need to get rid of some cards. I need to get full houses now. God, that sucks. There we go. Odd cards. Okay, we roll. The NyQuil? What the? Never been called the NyQuil before. That's a brand new one. Ooh, definitely not enough. All right, we need to go into Turbo Hyperdrive. And it won't be with full houses. Son of a bitch, I think we lost. Yeah, I think we lost this one, everybody. Damn. I feel like Seltzer is a decent card, but the thing it's based on kind of sucks in my opinion, because soda carbonation is good, but Seltzer sparkling stuff makes it taste angry. I just hate that that card disappears after ten hands. Or however many it is. Uh, we are not in a good position. We are not in a great position place. <clears throat> Go. Ooh, that was the last hand. Alright, we lost. You know what? Got fucked with the chips being halved. These bosses are getting on my nerves. Again, again. Money? Cool. Money? Cool. Not trying to start anything, but I genuinely don't get the hype for this. It's if you like numbers, and if you like number go up, and if you ro like roguelikes, Bellatro is for you. See, it's not the start of the game that gets people hyped. It's once you start getting those huge multipliers and you see that number go through the stratosphere. That's when you go, oh. Enough with the two pairs. There we go. I thought the game was already trying to kill off my run. Hey, we did it. Just barely. I think this is the best deck builder roguelike after Slay the Spire. See, I like that it uses an actual deck of playing cards. Like, I don't have to learn an into Oh! I don't have to learn an entirely new game of cards and its sets and how it plays. It's just a deck of cards. But by saying that, I also leave out the fact that there's 150 jokers to learn 
and how they all synergize with one another. So what I'm saying is, I like this one better. It's a matter of preference, honestly. Okay, we can work with this. Uh, first off, get that. It's poker, but as a roguelike, absolutely. And that makes it fun. I can't tell you how many sleepless nights I've had playing this game be just because I can't fucking stop playing it. I'm addicted, man. Like, I knew I had a gambling problem. Thank God I'm playing Bellatro. Uh, bully. Ooh, we might be able to get a three of a kind out of this. Let's see what we got. Because, uh, I love this Joker right here. Copies the ability of the leftmost Joker. We're about to get two plus twelves if we can manage to get a three of a kind. I'll leave two. Close. Come on. Yay! Show me those double plus twelves. <laughs> I did feel like that one night. I played it for so long, my eyes were bloodshot and they hurt to stay open. Huh. I think I have a problem. To put it in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, it's like taking your Ojama focus deck and slowly getting buffed so it could overcome a meta tier pearly deck in two turns. Number go- HOLY SHIT! Alright. <clears throat> I think we might be winning this one. I think we might be okay with an Aces High deck now. DNA is brilliant to get this early. Speaking of which, time to start making Aces High. Put that on a shirt. Now, I'm going to have to play this... Ooh, that's... Ooh. We're going to have to play this very carefully because we have a really good setup here right now. Just need to make sure I don't fuck it. Ooh, it can't do DNA. Copies the ability of the... Oh, leftmost Joker. There we go. Need to make sure I read. Oh, shoot. That's a flush. Ho ho! Alright, so here's what DNA does. If your first hand of the round has only one card, add a permanent copy to the deck and draw it to the hand. So, with the synergy I currently have, Brainstorm is going to copy the ability of DNA, which means... Oh yes! That is good. That is very, very good. We can do a lot with that right there. But now, again, I have to play this very carefully because every round I'm going to be down one hand, essentially. Uh, so I need a three of a kind right now. I need a three of a kind right now. <laughs> uh, if hand contains a three of a kind, uh, let's let's see what's better: forty at four or fifty at five. Fifty at five, it is. I should have put the stone card in there. Fuck. Well, we did it. We're good. Uh, so, Kuragane, there are secret hands that you can find in this game. Uh, let me, let me show this. So, here's standard poker hands. Uh, straight flush being the top of a normal poker game. Four of a kind, full house, flush, straight, three of a kind, two pair, pair, high card. Royal flush exists in regular poker. 
that's the that's the top dog of hands that you can play in a poker match. If you get a royal flush, you're winning that hand. There are two. Uh, hold on. No, there's three. There are three hidden hands in this game. Five of a kind. Obviously what that is. Flush five, which is five of a kind of the same suit. And flush house. A full house with the same suit. I'm hoping we can start getting some flush fives and everything else, because then it's just going to go... Number going to go very up. And it's going to be... Amazing. Ooh, free hermit. Free money. Go ahead and do a celestial. See if I can get another three of a kind. Hopefully. Uh... I could work with full house. I know why, because Niskel has said why, but sometimes I still get baffled on how Niskel is in a BA. That's very kind of you. I don't remember what I said, so hopefully it was something... <laughs> uh, hopefully it was actually something worth noting and not just nonsense. Yeah, so Kurigane, by the end of one of my rounds, I had a deck that was 50% aces, and it had 100 cards in it. I was getting flush fives, five of a kinds, easily. We'll eventually get to that point if I can pull this off. I need to play a bit. Uh, need to play it very carefully. Hop! I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. I think the best part is, after you play a hand, your jokers don't have to stay. You can mix and match them all over the place, so now, this is gonna rock. I think we'll be okay for like, two more antis. We'll have to see. That sucks. Hopefully we'll be able to overtake that anyway. Hey, we got it. The arm boss blind fucking sucks. Because I've had that where I had like a flush five at level five. And then it just decreased it every single time. It's like, all right, there's still room for human error. Hey! You're right. Oh, yeah. Hey, that works. It's actually exactly what I needed. Just what I needed. Got a flush here as well. Awesome. Now, let's see what we can get. Three of a kind, okay. We're building, we're building, we're cooking. Spectral, let's see what we get. Spectral is the dangerous one. Oh, I think we'll be good, but I really want to do this. Oh, wait, that destroys all other jokers. Nah, fuck that. Bam! Fuck! <laughs> I didn't want to do that! Whatever. Whatever, dude. All right, we'll go ahead and get some more cash after beating the boss. Go for this one. I really wish it didn't take my freaking ace. Come on, man. All right, anyway, another two free aces. See, I already made the aces back, but I really didn't want them to take an ace. Okay. Go back over here. Bam, bam, bam. And just to remove some cards from my hand. Ooh, not enough. No, oh, we're still good. We're still good. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Ooh, so close. <laughs> we win! Okay. Again, just gotta keep this up. Now, if we manage to get Scholar and Fibonacci again, 
Game's over. We will have officially won the main campaign of Bellatro. But it's the stuff that happens afterwards where it gets absolutely insane. That's actually really good. Just temporarily, that's fantastic. I'll go ahead and grab a standard pack, see if we can get another ace. Oh, I'll take that. Let's see what we can get from a Celestial as well. Another three of a kind! New! No. Uh, oops. I'll do flush. Since we're getting a lot of Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of... Yeah, look at... <laughs> yeah, look at all that. Look at all that garbage. Nothing but Ace of Spades. Which means if we draw a hand with five Aces of Spades, that's a flush five. Already we have... A, an extremely good hand and the thing is with the celestial cards you can't get the special hands you can't get a celestial card for the special hands until you play them at least once during a campaign so we're looking pretty good right now this one might really suck I won't I'm not able to uh, to use DNA because I have to play five cards um in that case Let's go for something else. Okay. There we go. Uh, mm, okay. That actually worked out beautifully. Go. Yeah, sorry, DNA. Forty-eight. Okay. Uh, can't discard anymore. So I need to. What do I need? Eight hundred more points. card as a nine, but I'll at least get more uh, chips out of it. Okay. One more hand. Holy f fuck! Okay. I want to make four of a kind more appealing. Because I don't think I'll keep that three of a kind joker for long. I want to start upgrading since I'm getting a lot of aces now. So stone cards, they will play with any hand as long as there's space in the hand for it. And they give you 50 chips automatically. So it's just a way to get extra chips. That would be hilarious if I would have gotten that way earlier. <laughs> or if I was playing a different setup. Ooh, Emperor. Emperor is good, but also I need to start thinking about Chariot. I need to start getting steel cards that are just going to multiply the fuck out of everything. Let's grab a Celestial. <laughs> eh, why not? For old time's sake. Roll just to see what we get. That'll work. Hmm. All right. Next. Ooh, holographic. Nope. As much as I want to, I don't think it'll work very well. Okay. So here's where we start getting into the into the nitty gritty. We are going to get double of an ace, but now it has a special effect where it gives a plus four multiplier. Which means that's duplicating. Oh lord. We about to get a bulk of the points. Bam, bam, bam. 
Hmm. Yep. Play it. Shit. I forgot to move. Ow. Oh. See, this is what I always forget about. Be because I love playing DNA so much, I forget to swap it out with another Joker. After I'm done with it, it's like, oh, I made another card, but I didn't get to do anything with it. Shit. There we go. Oh, I should have played the stone card. It's okay, though. We beat it. Bam. Damn. That's okay. Glass cards are awesome. I think it's uh, times two that they do to your multiplier, but they have a 50-50 shot of shattering upon use. Gotta play them very carefully. Imagine having a real deck made of glass. Oh, 25%. My bad, my bad. Ooh. Alright. We could play this way. Double my money. Oh, I get 17 out of this. Oh, we'll get some more planet cards. <laughs> Excellent. Straight flush and four of a kind. That's what we're looking for. Although with Niskold's luck, it's a 100% chance. Yeah, that tracks. I can see it happening. Oh, baby! <laughs> Fuck! What do I want to get rid of? Let's see. It's plus ten. That's plus twelve. I'm not going to keep this forever, and this is about to overtake it, so give me hologram. Huh? Fucking love hologram. And this right, this is a game winner right here. So for those of you who haven't played Bellatra, let me play out how a hand is going to go from now on. In fact, I'll just play it. I'll just play the next round and you'll get to see why this setup kicks so much ass. Oh my god. All right, we we're about, we're about to go we're about to go ape. So, throw an ace out there. Bam. Brainstorm is going to copy DNA, which is going to copy two aces. Every time a card is added to my hand, a multiplier is added to hologram. 0.25 of a multiplier. At the rate we're going, we're getting two cards every single hand. This will be at times two by neck by the end of next round. And that just keeps adding up. And it is disgusting how overpowered that is. Uh so because I got rid of Oh, uh, we could do we could still do three of a kind. Yeah, because that's a level four. That's only a level three. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do three of a kinds. So now when we do this, and because I have steel cards in my hand now. 1.5 multipliers and the number just keep going up number go up lots oh god <laughs> I don't know why I'm making these exclamations oh yeah we still have plenty of aces give me the aces <laughs> cool here we go yeah numbers are about to go burr they're not gonna go so burr that we get to E but at the very least, numbers go burr, we win game. There we go. These are the numbers I was looking for. Last time we played Bellatro on stream, I was so pissed that we didn't get a setup like this. It just kept getting screwed constantly. But here we go. We now actually have a decent setup. That's just overpowered. Buy that right now. 
So right now I'm just setting up for the end game because the final boss will always have 100,000 chips that you need to surpass unless you're playing the harder difficulties and then it's just stupid. Nisko's just creaming himself. Uh, wait until we hit uh, 100 million, and then I might have to mute. Uh, yeah, there we go. I should have done that for the glass card. That would have been perfect, actually. Well, it's okay. All heart cards are debuffed. Okay. Suck on this. There's the times two. And uh, now, honestly, we go ham. I love the configuration for Aces High. It is so goddamn good. Now, if we get Fibonacci in here, I will lose my mind. Because if you thought this was overpowered, buddy. Buddy, I don't think you've seen nothing yet. <laughs> Go for it! Bam! 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 Da! Boosh! Do! Boo! Bah! Power. The power of the cards in the palm of my hand. Unlimited power! This is actually a really good, uh... Uh... Words, please. Voucher! There we go. I could have tried the jumbo pack just to see if I could uh, suss out Fibonacci, but it's just not happening. Okay. Next. that. Add to Moa. The power. The power. And we'll eventually get to a point where a single card will most likely win me the hand because of hologram. It is going to be so overpowered that we win immediately. We're so set for the end of the game. Ha ah! <laughs> I knew it! I knew I could do it if I, if I just dug a little bit. Look at this! A five of a kind. Let's just watch number go up. Here comes number go up. You ready? Thirty-four thousand, and all we needed to beat was eleven thousand. Number gonna be going up. Nothing. All right, what do we got? Oh, uh, hmm. Money. Next round, all aces are banned. I would murder somebody. <laughs> Actually, I would still be able to play... I would still be able to play aces. I just wouldn't get as much as I would for other ones. But chances are I would still be able to beat the blind. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we got it! A flush five! Look at that! 
So now we can find five of a kind and flush fives in the Celestial Packs. Jesus. Cool. And we get free Celestial cards now. Uh, because that one had a uh, had a marker on it, so never mind. I think we got it, chat. It sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, what do you do? Plus three discards, minus one hand size. Fucking blows! Do I get Yu-Gi-Oh cards because today was shit? Uh, the answer is always yes. If the question is, do I buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards or do I not? The answer I will always give you is yes, you must buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, I've got enough aces and duplicated. I'm gonna get Emperor. Nice. Actually, that's insanely good. God damn. Yeah, free money. Okay. And spades. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, base chips and malts are halved. Okay. Playing a rough game here. I understand. I understand. You don't want to lose, but it, I just want to win so badly. And I think we have what we need to win. Yeah, now we're going to be getting just a lot of different cards. Oh! Please do it. Please do it. Come on. Please do it. Damn it. Oh, that would have been so funny. God, that would have been hilarious. If they put polychrome on a hologram or something like that. You could barely even tell. But it still would have been... Funny. Hmm. This game is making me happy. Good. I don't think this will be enough to actually win. Oh, definitely not. Well, never mind. 42 grand. Get screwed, Flint. Ha! Man, I wish I would have bought seed money at the beginning of the game. Woo! Plus one hand size. I've got money to burn. Neat. Alright, what do we got? Nope. More cards. More cards. Uh, another steel won't hurt. And Arcana? You know, let's go for it. Damn it. Oh! <laughs> I adore this card. Throwback is such a good joker. It's not good in this setup, but a 0.25 for each blind skipped. That just goes ape later on, especially if you're just like, all right, I just want to beat the game really quickly. And you've been skipping blinds the entire time. And then you reach this motherfucker. Oh, that would have been great. Hey, look, splash. Uh, blah. High card. Pfft. Oh, look, an ace. <laughs> Number go up. Chat, we're about to reach the point where playing one card will win us. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's just full of aces. My god. It's full of aces. <laughs> 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 
Oh shit! A <laughs> hundred and three thousand! Yeah, okay. Ooh, you know. Ooh. I need to get some seals on these cards. Okay, first of all, free card. Uh. <laughs> times five. Okay. I need to get some spectrals up in here. I need to. I need to get some stuff going. Uh, two bonus cards, double the money. Sure, I'll go. I'll go hunting. All right, what we got? Oh, that'll work. What we got? Shoot the moon is pretty good. <laughs> Hello. Uh, let's see. Full house. Go ahead and buy and use. And what was the what was the magician? Oh, a lucky card. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Here we go again. Here. Ho we go. Again. I'm actually going to start uh, duplicating lucky cards. Because they have the... Lucky cards are insane. So take a look at this. A 1 in 5 chance to get a plus 20 multiplier. And a 1 in 15 chance to win 20 bucks. That's free money. I... Didn't do it correct. I got too excited. Can you blame me, though? That's all right. We got we got other hands. It's fine. That's the ticket. Yeah, that'll do. Still room for human error. Shut up! We're doing great. We're doing grand. Bing. 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 Bing! What was that, 84,000? Okay. Tarot cards. Hey, there we go. You can really start to mess some shit up. Do that. Get those guys to hearts. Just adding to my multiplier. Ain't no big. Ain't no big. I'll go ahead and make that a lucky. Start getting some money. And do we finally have flush five or five of a kind? Yes, we do. So Planet X is your five of a kind and Eris is your flush five. For the time being, I'm going to do five of a kind because all almost all of. The, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, we're going to do flush five. I hope that's OK with everybody. And it's just going to go up from there because, you know, we can. Lose one dollar per card played. Uh-oh. I think this is the first hand we haven't gotten an ace. Ace, please. Thank you. Four of a kind. Five of a kind. Free tarot card. <laughs> uh, spades. Oh, hey, look. Free spades. Go. Oh, no, I lost five dollars. Son of a bitch. This is the type of stuff that keeps keeps me up till 5 a.m. It's a sickness. 153,000. Oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, nope. Ooh, okay. GG easy. You are correct. Uh, nope. Don't want that. Celestial. Damn. Alright, I'll go for five of a kind. The sooner I can get Eris just buffed to shit, same with five of a kind, I think we'll be in a better place when we get to endless mode. Speak of the devil. Hello, beautiful. I would like your flush five. Thank you. Next base edition Joker becomes holographic. Nah. Not at this point. Ooh. God, that multiplier is getting so high. Exactly what I want. Okay, good start. There it is. And now we just coast. We just coast for the rest of the game, honestly. It is so Jover for Bellatro right now. It's actually kind of sad. I don't need... Yeah, it still works. I didn't even need the steel cards, and I was still able to get over 130,000. GG easy. Game's not hard. Although I have a lot of failures <laughs> uh, to show that, yes, indeed, this game can be a big kick in the balls. Uh, just for funsies. Nope. I'm looking for a specific card. And if we can get that specific card, we might be hitting 100 million. Ooh, I should have done Spectral. Oh, well, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, bip. Six point seven five. Good lord. Sweet Lord have mercy. Shit, that was a heart. <laughs> Alright, it's still a five of a kind. We got it, we got it, we got it. Don't worry about it, dude. I just wanted number major go up. Still one. 128,000. <laughs> and we got a planet. Oh my god. I could probably sell this for money since I'm not worried about flushes. It's all about the flush fives, man. Flush five. Ooh. If a poker hand is a straight flush, create a random spectral card. Man, I wish I was... Oh, if this showed up way early, that could have been usable. Not at the rate we're going! See, um, I'm talking big smack right now because we're definitely going to finish this run. There is a possibility we won't make it very far in endless mode because that ramp of difficulty is ridiculous. Two random cards per hand, okay work with that. Bam. Bam. Yeah, no kidding. It's gonna hurt. I'll be honest. I am not looking... I never look forward to endless mode because it just hurts me so much. It is ruthless. Hey, look, another steel card. Wham. I kind of just want to play five steels just to be extra douchey to the video game. Ha! All right, here we go. Number way go up. No! Well, it's fine, it's fine. The 
Oh my god. Alright, we're at the final ante. This is where the end of the game comes into view. Still looking good. If we can get the card that I want, I will be so happy. Uh, we'll go for this. Free hand. I know we'll at least get through one ante in endless mode, and then it just skyrockets. So, not looking forward to that. We'll do what we can. Yeah, we're doing good on aces. <sighs> kind of, kind of useless, but it's fine just in case. You never know. Hey, do you guys remember when we relied on three of a kinds? Wasn't that funny? <laughs> uh, so, oh, 7.75! Let's see if we can get it to times 10! Bam, 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 bam. Nice. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. This number's gonna go way up. Bump. 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Oh, it didn't even reach the. Huh? Half a million. We have reached half a million. And that's what we're looking for. Ooh. Take a devil card. Take a standard playing card and see what we get. Luck of the draw says nothing. All right, next round. Forces one card to always be selected. That's not going to be fun. That's just going to suck, honestly. Go ahead and use you. It's four points. And I'm going to duplicate the lucky card. Get more of those in the deck. If I can ever find the die, that will make lucky cards far too powerful. Oh, and we already got the flush five. Watch it, chat. Watch it rise. Number go up. Number rise. A rise number. <laughs> Use it. Yes! We got something! Finally! Alright, 50 more chips for this guy. Perfect. Even more tarot cards. Building up our arsenal. That's all we're doing at this point. Uh, go ahead and make a deck that's exclusively aces. Turn all the other piddly cards into aces. Okay. Uh, free money. Alright. The final boss. The Cerulean Bell forces one card to always be selected. Okay, that's a good card to have selected. And we end the game with a times nine multiplier. Absolutely insane. 19,000 for one ace. And it's over. We won. 
If Bellatra ever goes on sale, would you do this for a bargain bin lounge? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, this might be on advent calendar this year. <laughs> Just because I can't stop playing this goddamn game. Because of this. We won! 349,000! Congratulations, you win. <laughs> Until we go to endless mode. You are already beaten, video game. Now give me the card I'm looking for. It'll be hilarious. Damn. Uh, tarot cards appear more frequently. Yeah, I'll take that. So, UDJ bought me Bellatro. Uh, that was around the time where I wasn't working. And he was like, you you need a game, you need a fun game to play. So he bought me Bellatro. And I have far surpassed where he is in Bellatro. He actually thinks I have a sickness. <laughs> Who's going to be starting Advent Calendar this year? Uh, it's going to be UDJ. He is starting Advent Calendar. Which means he gets 13, and I get to be the cheeky little boy that gets 12. Which I'm perfectly okay with. It's not that I don't want to do more. It's steadily getting harder to come up with game ideas that aren't just, like, outright silly, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, a, some of my choices are like, I just really want to play this game. And some of my other choices are, how can I make my friend hate me? Something along those lines. <laughs> Woohoo! Imagine that on another LP, but with Bellatro. I can't remember what video... What video was it? I think it was on my channel. He just started playing Bolatro in the middle of it because it, nothing was happening. And I thought that was hilarious. Uh, hello, Eris. Ooh, I get two. Uh, sure. The higher of all of them. You you need to be the card I'm looking for, okay? I really want that card. If I get it, it'll be amazing. Celestial. Eris immediately. Level six. Flush five. Oh my lord. Again, do you remember when we started and we were happy to see three of a kind? It just keeps going. Ha! All right, you guys are now molt cards. And you are now a wild card. A wild two, apparently. I think that's what it originally was. Go. Times ten! Times ten! Twenty three thousand for an ace. I I can't get over how broken this setup is. Alright, we gotta we gotta create some tarot cards. You called it on the flush five? Indeed you did. Look at my hand! You know what? This is the Bellatro experience I come to expect. What other game do you look at your hand of 10 and you just see this monstrosity of a hand? Like, what even is this? What are we even doing? <laughs> I love this game so much. I love this game so much. Because of this stupid shit you're looking at right now. 
We might hit a million. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna hit a million by... by this next round. We have to. But now we actually have a challenge. Please show up. Please show up. It'll be so funny if you show you piece of garbage. All right. Uh, reroll. Nothing. Reroll. Nothing. Reroll. God damn it. All right. Go ahead and use this. Sell that. Sell that. All right. Next one. And here comes the ramp. Five hundred and sixty thousand. Let's do it. 1.5 million or closer. Yep. And this is why I start dealing with lucky cards. There's a better chance that I will get the plus 20 and it'll it'll be ridiculous. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, we're going to make it through this blind. I just want to make sure we're prepared for anything after that. Oh, hey, look, aces. Okay, plus 20 is good. For anybody who's ever played... There's a million. For anybody who's played Bellatro, I'm looking for the mime. Every activated card in your hand activates again. A and I really want it. Because it would work so well with this right now. See what we get in here. Nothing. Right, I'm gonna save my money here. Eight hundred and forty thousand. Here it comes. Here it comes. And we have reached a times eleven. The mine would let you go to infinity. That's the plan. I think the highest. The highest score in Bellatra right now is 5.3 quintillion. It's a lot of numbers. It definitely went to E. We have reached E, everyone. Damn it. All right. Well, we can still work with this. Flush five. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to build up a bunch of steel cards, and if Mime shows up... Let's just say Niskel is going to be very happy. Ooh, we didn't make it! That's a first! It, hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Bam. 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 Oh, fucking duh, that's why I didn't win. I forgot to move this. Still won, though. I'm not supposed to lose. Now, what would also kind of break this playthrough in half is if I got another chance to make one of my cards holofoil, uh, uh, po polygraphic, what, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, see if I can get another Eris card. I get a Planet X. That's okay. Okay, one re-roll. Let's see what we get. Damn it. One more re-roll. Damn it. Alright. First hand is drawn face down! That would have been so goddamn funny if that actually worked. Eleven and a half. Okay, so we know at least two of those are aces of spades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw away these cards. Okay. Okay. We now know what all of those face downs are. There's the other ace of spades. And we're good. 
You're basically aiming for an Ace of Spades deck. Apparently, I didn't mean for it to go like that. It just kind of happened. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, but now we're in a bit of a pickle because the next ante is going to suck. I, th If we don't get the card I need or a possible card I need, I think this is where it ends. Not looking good. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here. Nope. Reroll, no, reroll, no, reroll one last time. No! All right. I think this is where we die. Unfortunate, but it does happen. Seven million! Huh? We're taking that free spectral pack. Five random cards in your hand, gain 20. <laughs> These both suck. Yeah, I can't risk it. Alright, see you, skills. At least you got the one million this run. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. Man. We'll go for it, still. Ten million eight. I think we can reach that. We're reaching the times 12. I do think I'll have to sack a bunch of cards and play on my final uh, play after all the discards are gone. I think that'll be the deciding factor because I need to get a bunch of steals in here. So just to get cards out of my hand, I'm going to start with this flush five just to get Boku to points to start out. Plus 20! Uh, no, seriously, none of them? I mean, I know I'm not owed, but... God, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that is definitely not a good sign. Okay. There's some more. Before I ditch those... Go ahead and play another flush five. Damn, if I would have had, like, Fibonacci or something like that, or Scholar, that might have been enough to do it. Hey, we broke a million. Okay. Yeah, so do you see how... how ungodly difficult it gets by anti 11 Okay, I got money. Twas a valiant effort, Bellatro deck. But unfortunately, we lose. But we did win the main game, which is all I could have asked for. Yeah, I needed the plus 20 payouts. So, if I would have gotten Fibonacci, that tarot joker would have gone away. And if we would have gotten Mime, the uh, payout joker would have gone away. But that's Bellatro, everybody. <laughs>